Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Hampshire Court Hotel for the 2015-16 Paul Baldwin Agency's Basic Stoke Bison. Could you turn it up, please, Bav? They can't hear you around the corner. It's just like the sound system at the Bison Arena. Don't worry about that. <laughs> John Snow, how are you, sir? Oh, goodness me. Hope you're all very well. Thank you very much for coming out this evening. We're going to roll through the awards very quickly because the buffet's coming out at about half eight. N not blaming the players at the bar for delaying us at all there. Uh, so, let me bring up our first presenter tonight. He is the guy who has leaded us to this great success this season. Ladies and gentlemen, your coach, your director of hockey, Doug Shepherd. <laughs> Thank you for everyone for coming tonight. Um, the first award is the co Coaches Player of the Year. Obviously with it being such a great season, so memorable, I mean we had so many guys step up, play big games, but there's one guy for me that's just come on so much over the years. He's played forward, he's played D, and it's uh, Stuart Mogg. Stuart, the microphone's going in your hands. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's been a really good year for me. Um, I didn't expect for my year to go as it did, and I'm really happy of like that we won the league, and it's just been really successful, and I couldn't be happier. Thank you. Uh, the, the next award tonight is something that started a couple years ago. It's the most improved player, and Simon Beer and I have been working close, have a lot better relationship with the junior program and the Buffalo. We have a couple guys that have been training with us, and it's a really good story. Uh, there was a guy that was just supposed to train with us this year. He, came, he took it so serious, got himself in incredible shape, and he actually played a big part down, down the stretch, joined us full-time, and that's Dan Lackey. Unfortunately, Dan is in here, so Ryan, can you come get it for him? Sucks, sucks. Before you go, mate, um, I've been told apparently you've got to do a bit of a song for everybody in here tonight. Come here, come here. Come here. If you do it better first time, then you don't have to do it second time. It's quite simple. Come on, Ryan. Should he do it? Yeah! Oh, that was the worst thing I ever heard. Can we get um, Joe Greener to come, come up to the stage and present Players Player of the Year? Before Joe presents this award, I just want to, we have a little something for him. Um, obviously, Joe came uh, to Basingstoke when I did. Um, I got so many good memories um, with, with Joe. He's, he's come in, been just such a phenomenal teammate, assistant coach, um, been so loyal, such a good player that you guys can see. Um, it's been such a good friend. It's, it's, it's been enjoyable to see him build a family. He's such a big part of the hockey program, so we just wish him the best of luck when he goes to America with Kelly and his family. I do have one more thing for him. Don't worry, it's not a pink neck guard, Joe. It is a purple, sorry. I got the wrong puck here, but... This is the game puck from when we won the league. Hopefully we don't have to wait so long. It's the original puck. All right, player's player. Um, to me, it's the best award, award you can win. Um, voted by, the, obviously, the players. And it's the guy they look up to. He's the uh, heartbeat of the team, and I hope he is going to be the heartbeat of the team for years to come. Because if I was here, I'd want him to be my captain too, Aaron Connolly.
sliding away from me very quietly. No, 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 no. He's sliding away. Come on back up, Aaron. I'd like to start with just saying thanks to the boys. Um, I think it could have went to anyone, all these trophies really. I think everyone just dug in this year. Shows with the trophies that we won, the league title and things like that. This is a great group and to be honest it's been <laughs> pretty easy to be a captain. There's so many leaders in the team. Um, so thanks boys and thanks Shep and thanks John and all our sponsors and everyone that helps us out every night. Cheers boys. Doug will be back up a little later on for all his thank yous and that, but it's time to move on to the awards that you all voted for over the last couple of weeks of the season, the two Supporters of the Year, Players of the Year Award. I'd first of all like to welcome up from our title sponsor, Paul Baldwin, from Paul Baldwin Agencies, to present the Supporters Player of the Year. Good evening. Okay, uh... This is uh, obviously a very important award because it's voted by you guys. And you guys are there supporting the club week in, week out. I know the guys are very proud of you all and they'd like to thank you themselves for what you do. So, thank you. Right, your uh, Supporters Player of the Year. And I guess it's no surprise to me, really, or you, but a big round of applause, please, for Thomas Karpov. Hi everyone. <laughs> it's hard to follow, uh, you know, speeches of other guys like Aaron, you know, Shep, Greeny. They've been uh, huge guys, you know, huge players for our team. I just want to say thank you to all of, uh, all of you. Uh, you guys are great supporters. Uh, I think the best one in the league, obviously. Um, <laughs> Uh, I think this season was, you know, obviously at the end it wasn't it wasn't how we wanted it, but in overall, you know, 40 or something wins in a year, uh, it, you know, you, we can say that we did everything we could and maybe more than we expected it, and hopefully next year it's going to be even better, right? So. Uh, thank you for everything, for your support, and I'll uh, see, see you next year. Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas Carpov. A big, huge part of our club here, the, it gets up without being presented up. A um, big, huge part of our club here these days is obviously the Boosters Club and all the support that they provide, so it is with great pleasure I welcome up their chairman, Clive Thompson, to present the British Supporters Player of the Year. What's coming next? <laughs> uh, good evening. Thank you everybody for coming. It's great to have a uh, turnout like this. We needed a bigger room again this year. I'm sure next year with more trophies we'll need an even bigger room. Uh, before I hand over the trophy for the British Sport Player of the Year, I just want to do a few thank yous. I normally forget names, so I did write them down this year. Um, and I'll read it at the end. Uh, I'd like to thank the committee. So Richie, Kat, Abby, Andy, Check your list now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Liz, I'm married to her, so how can I forget that? <laughs> uh, and our other helpers, Tom and Julie, Dave and Sarah, Anita, Doug, and obviously John as well for your support this year and how we how we worked. We raised an awful lot of money, which goes directly to the team. We couldn't do that without you, the supporters. So thank you very much. So the British Supported Player of the Year voted by you is, again, our captain, Aaron Connolly.
Don't tell the monkey. Do you know what you should do, Aaron? As captain, you know what you should do? You should get Suts up here to sing. <laughs> Let's go, Suts. Sutton, 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 Sutton. He's not moving. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> It's not moving, no. no. These are still as Telford fans at the playoffs this year. Um, ouch. Um, it's now time for what I consider the mo one of the most important awards, which is to recognise the contribution made by volunteers and helpers to our club. Obviously, uh, last season saw a brand new award come out from the club, the Alan Parrott Outstanding Contribution Award. Uh, and it is a tremendous honour that once again we are able to commemorate this gentleman's life as a big part of our club. All season long we wore patches on the shirts and in some ways I think he helped inspire the guys to go on and win the league title this year and end that 23 year, year wait for the trophy. I'd like to welcome up from Planet Ice John Neville and I'd like to welcome up Julie and Gail as well to come up and make the presentation of this year's Alan Parrott's Outstanding Contribution Award. Good evening everybody, um, thank you for attending as well, I think it's a great turnout. Um, I think if Al was with us today, he'd be overjoyed with the recipient to this year's award. This person's kids have played hockey for the Bison and other clubs in the EPL and in uh, rec hockey as well. I've known him since when I came to Basingstoke to do the hockey and also at the rink as well. And um, he'll always do things for everybody else before doing it for himself. So. Uh, the winner of the award this year is Tony Skins. <laughs> Unfortunately, the old boy's not here. <laughs> so, Glenn, if you could come up, please, and uh, receive the award on uh, Tony's behalf, I'd appreciate it. to me to say uh, some thank yous. I've wrote them down this year because I keep forgetting them. <laughs> so uh, first and foremost I'd like to thank all the players. I think this year has been an outstanding achievement with winning the league and um, ending that 23 year wait. So uh, guys thank you for everything you put on the line day in day out, week in week out. <laughs> Without the off ice staff with um, I'll probably forget somebody, AD, Matt, Drew, um, Glenn that's over there as well, and Tony of course. We wouldn't be the team that we are, they prepare the lads so well, so thank you to you guys as well. <laughs> to our mad DJ over here, the Red Coats and the Match Night staff, um, thank you for everything that you do. It's uh, a wonderful occasion coming to a Bison Hockey Night and you guys make them nights a lot better, so thank you very much. Clive, I won't forget Liz. <laughs> to Clive, Liz, uh, Abby, Rich, Kat and everybody else that on the Booster Club committee, thank you very much for all the work you've done. This year we changed it around quite a bit, it took a bit of getting used to, but I think we got there in the end, so thank you so much. <laughs> um, the ladies on the schools programme, Hannah and Sharon, you do a wonderful job filling that bottom end for us week in, week out, so thank you. Probably never mentioned these before, but I think this year my staff at Planet Ice have uh, excelled with what they've done for you guys with Anita, the, the new general manager that we brought in, and Paul, and especially Dean, the box office staff. And so, big thank you to all my staff in Planet Ice. Um, the social media guys, Ant and Keith, you do a great job. I spend all of my life watching bloody Facebook and Twitter on a Saturday night and Sunday night. So. <laughs> You do a really good job, so thank you very much for that, because it uh, keeps me in touch. 
Where is he? Oh, he's hiding behind the, ca behind the pillar. Graham, um, you're a media guru and Adrian, we buy some TV as well. Though. It's amazing what you guys do and I think we've got many more hits than we'd ever even appreciated we get. So, wonderful work. Thank you so much. We can't ever forget the, the sacrifices that the players, wives and girlfriends make. Week in, week out, as I've said earlier, these lads put their, their bodies on the line for them and they love and keep care of them and feed them up and send them out next week. So thank you everybody. Thank you all of you. <laughs> to our sponsors, uh, Paul, um, I think Susan and, and Minute Man are here as well. And, I believe Barracuda here, sorry I've never met you so I don't know where you are or, or the smart car people. <laughs> they're not here, are they not? Okay. But uh, the guys from Berry Brothers as well. Thank you so <laughs> Thank you very much for all your sponsorships anyway, everybody. So I really do appreciate it. Doug knows you. I'm afraid I don't. But uh, thank you anyway. All our sponsors, you help us make the team profitable and keep us on the ice week in, week out. So thank you. I know it's been up already, but Joe Greener, I think you are um, what etymizes this club really. I think you put, your, put it out there every week, week in, week out, always giving a lot. I wish you all the best in America, and if you could all raise your glasses, please. To Joe and Kelly. <laughs> um, there's only one guy really that I forgot to mention, and that's uh, our director of hockey, Doug. Doug, um, it's been a trying year this year for me and you, I'm not going to lie. We've uh, had our fallouts from time to time this year, but through it all, we always come out the other end and we always win trophies. And I think you'll all remember last year, I said before I sat down that we were going to be better. And winning the league can't get any better than that. Um, can you join me, please, sir? Come on, Pete, please. We've just got two uh, presentations to two very special ladies that help this club out. Probably more than they should do from time to time. So if Kat and Louise could come up, I'd appreciate it, please. special and I thank them very much and I know Doug does as well. Um, last but not least, the supporters. You were great again at the weekend in Coventry. You've been great all season long. You're always loud, you're always proud. You certainly make me proud of this thing, I'll tell you that now. So thank you and enjoy your summers everybody, okay? Oh, it's getting forward thing. I believe Nikki Thompson has a presentation to make somewhere in the room as well on behalf of all of us to Kelly Greener. Hang on. Hang on. Oh. Thank you very much. No, 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 you can stay here, Nick. No, no, no. Okay. I'll do as I'm told. Kelly, if you'd like to come up, please. We've got a presentation. Doug will make the presentation to you. I guess it's down to Doug to end off with his own thank yous to the people he needs to thank as well. Yes, um, John mentioned a lot of people, but I want to start off with thanking Clive and the Booster Club for putting this event on. They always do an amazing job, plus all the tireless work they do all year for us, so thank you very much.
and the, the, the space basing slope wouldn't be the the place it is with the amount of volunteers we just have a n number of amazing volunteers that that help out so much but there there is a few i personally want to thank um louise not only for the night you do on ma match match nights but everything else you get involved with so thank you And Kat and Graham obviously get involved with absolutely everything. I'm, I'm constantly talking to them about every single idea, so thank you very much, you both. And last, Adrian, I mean, you take Bison TV to a new level. I just want to say thank you very much for that. And our, our sponsors, I mean, not, none of this uh, is is going to be possible without you guys. I mean, all of our sponsors, especially the ones here tonight, Minuteman, being here for your third season with us. Thank you very much. And Barry Brothers now for the, the second year running. Uh, the support you guys give us is, is amazing. Thank you. And this is the first year that Barracuda has been here represented, so thank you guys very much. A special thanks to, to Paul Baldwin. Um, he's our second year. He's been our title sponsor. I just I, lo I love the story. Paul rang me uh, about two years ago. Um, he liked the product, wanted to put his name behind it. Um, just the support he's given us. It, w it was just was supposed to start out small, and then all of a sudden, two years later, I mean, we're league champions together. So, Paul, thank you very much for everything. And uh, sorry, uh, lastly, um, Smart Car obviously provides us with vehicles. Sorry about that. Thanks, Graham. Again, thank you. And now, obviously, I, I have a feeling John knows this is coming, but um, we do need to thank you and your friends at Milton Keynes for beating Peterborough six times this year. Thank you. But that wasn't the biggest gift. The biggest one came in November when you just gave us Yep, Renee Arlen. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, on, a, on a serious note, obviously John had a plan and a, and a vision when he started this seven years ago, putting the basing stoke in the EPL. He's the man behind everything. So John, sincerely, thank you very much. Uh, obviously, what a, what a difference a, a year makes. Last year, I just remember we, we got knocked out in the in the quarterfinals against Manchester, and just absolutely devastated. And I went home. What do you do? You call your parents, and I I spoke to my dad, and I was just like, you know, this is not good enough. We got to get better. And he's an honest man. He just smirked and said, Well, that's easy. And I, thought, <laughs> I thought, Well, how is that? And he said, You need to get off the ice and get the f behind the bench. <laughs> It's true, by the way. He's been saying it for a while. Um, but no, now, now to the team. Obviously, the the guys behind the team that, that John touched on. Obviously, Tony's not here tonight, but the relationship we have with the guy, Tony's absolutely amazing. So th thanks again to Tony. Eighty, the, the the work that you do for us. I mean, it, it just goes unseen. But the amount of that's time you put in, everything that you do, spending nights in hospitals, everything, driving up and down the country. Thank you so much from all the guys. And Matt, Matt obviously got a busy job keeping all the guys together and keeping them on the ice. Thank you very much for that. Drew, we got the best sh skate sharp in the league. Thank you. And finally, Glenn, thank you so much for everything as well. Thanks. And, and now, now to the guys. Obviously, it, it takes a special group to, to do something that hasn't been done here in 23 years. And I, I think it starts with our, our leadership. It's, it's, I mean, it was a different guy every night, but 
it's just a complete team. It was someone stepping up every night. You, you hear the word family talked about quite a bit, and and, and they are. They, they're such a close group, and I, I, it, it just, that's the type of group that it takes to, to win something and, and to do something as special as we did. So, guys, thank you very much. And finally, uh, with the best fans in the league, I mean, thank you so much for all your support this year, and I just hope everyone enjoys the night. Thank you.